I feel like if it were me, I would personally get rid of Raptor and Shiva, right? Because I bet Terry could take either of the other two, right? Uh, or sorry, maybe maybe you keep Raptor, right? Because Raptor versus Iori seems like just like a angry matchup. Raptor versus Shiva, it's been proven that um, it's been proven that uh. Mitsurugi has been banned? Whoa. Whoa. Mitsurugi got banned. What a crazy ban. Huh. So Mitsurui got banned. And we get rid of Morgan. Wow, they just took the beaters and played them. That I'm so confused. Huh. You've got a prediction started. I also banned Mitsurugi. Interesting. If he banned Yoshi, I have no answer for discard. Okay. Maybe this banned the deck because they didn't have knowledge of. That's totally fair. Okay, so we have Shiva versus Terry. What a matchup. Okay, so uh, the... the <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the idea that we have here is that Terry has to find, uh, as quick as he can, outs to the card pool stuffing, which the best out is in the form of the Owl Shield. So we're going to be hard mulligan for that. Conversely, we have Shiva, who is playing um, a Diamond Crusher. And Diamond Crusher is for 1,000 damage in Shiva. It's for, gets plus 4 damage, so 18 damage inside of Shiva. Um, ops take so do we ban, uh, what got banned? Uh, Mitsurugi and Morrigan got banned. Huh? Yep. Uh, and so we have Shiva versus Terry, and Terry has found his one card out to the uh, Shiva deck. Um, yeah, uh, inside of uh, Owl Shield. And we are also block, but yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the cards don't count, right? Sure. Yeah. But, like, is he going to pass his block easily? Like, if he wants to play that Know the Power of the Abyss, it's on a 7 still. Uh, I don't think we get to play the Know the Power, but we do get to block with other assets, right? Which hopefully we can go and find. Um, Shiva did open up uh, Diamond Crusher as one of uh, inside of her turn 1, but opted to mulligan it away. Wait, why did we not just play this fourth card? Um, possibly to bait that we have something in hand to block with, but that's kind of not have 40, what this... You have 40 life. Just play your fourth foundation. Yeah, that's not what this Terry deck does. Uh, yeah, this just steals the momentum. Which is cool. Uh, we're trying to figure out if we wish to flash this attack or not. Um, giving Terry a momentum seems pretty good at this state in the game. Especially if he checks bad on this. Trying to figure out. do we? Is he trying to figure out if he passes it or not? Because the answer is we pass this card. But there's not an option to not pass it. <laughs> you, you still have to play the game. Uh, 
Okay, from here. True. Owl yeah. Shield doesn't matter if he drops the two Diamond Crushers turn two. True. Well, at least, I mean, he's got, uh, yeah, no, true. That, that's very, very, very true. Also, our hand's full of low blocks, so that doesn't matter. Yeah. Four plus, plus zero damage. Nice. Nice. <laughs> We've done it. You should get the D10 and put the zero over there. <laughs> we have successfully grabbed two momentum. Sure, yeah. I mean, we have it now for our uh, late game cards, Dark hopefully. Yeah. Dark Chirito or even possibly protecting plays. Protecting the protector. We have Moonset to try and get in there a little bit and reset the power balance. We do need to respond with Shiva. Okay. If we're going to make some sort of aggressive play happen. I can totally understand not using Shiva to not mill more assets into Terry's, into Terry's discard pile for him to go pick up. But uh, if we are going to make, make an attack... Does that matter that much, though? Uh, It's three more options he potentially didn't have. I mean, these three cards are, not, are also just not going to be drawn, right? Sure. I, I think, like, he's mostly just putting in the mirror so he can Shiva, right? Like, you discard a card, uh, you discard your balance fighters, one of them sticks, you draw a card, you clear one with Shiva, you draw a card, and you, like, kind of go from there to just get a better card hand. Like, yeah, a better hand. I don't disagree the hand that. Right now, the hand right now is pretty bad. Yeah. Are we about to discard this champion in combat? Oh, he's putting in some momentum. Interesting. He's just trying to bop him? That is a weird play to just try and bop him with. Uh, four, five, six, seven. Discard your top ten first. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The top four cards were assets. Crazy. Ops to fail it. Um, took and put the asset inside his momentum. That's very, very spooky for Terry. The uh, with the 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 Terra uh, the Tira card. Sure. So now these cards are actually di like progressive difficulty. So I mean, if right. he hits them for eleven here, that wouldn't be too surprising. I think, like, drawing a card here makes sense. I agree. But uh, he might just be um, caring more about the damage than, uh, than before. I don't than know if normal. the damage matters that much. Like, I think you still give it the damage pump because, like, I don't know if you do anything else with the momentum. But, like, you still probably want to clear one and draw. Um, I guess our one mid block uh, super blocks are on a seven at this exact point which means that we don't get to commit Terry to move it down. If we discard a card out of the card pool for the extra damage, we can block... Our hand is six. so bad. <laughs> like, yeah, our hand is so bad. Yeah. I'm not saying it'll get better, but, like, that is such a bad hand. I'm just trying to think of a, of extra lines that, that Shiva could be thinking about. You so, know? like, a, a second attack would be good there. He didn't get one, obviously, but, like, that would have been good. Uh, no, A new master's actually very good if since your opponent has two momentum already correct yeah so this is now on a six we hard check a six hit the breaker two. respond commit our foundation and then build the uh build the card down and then get to draw an, an additional one
looking in our disco policy, seeing what overly dramatic is allowed to touch and not touch. And that will decide if we get to uh, move Terry or not. Okay. Love that. So this is on a four. One plus one for progressive, plus two for the breaker. Easy. Two, three, four. Checks a three, commit Shiva. Interesting. All right, so Terry's not going into his turn. He's got five foundations and a from hell or from science, excuse me. Uh, yeah, we just uh build a bunch of foundations and be totally chill with it. We've got Cormorant to be able to quote unquote block for days. Uh, if we absolutely wanted to, from hell with love. Uh, I have to go get water. Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> um. We've got a. We're keeping two low blocks. Man, we drew a thousand low blocks in this deck, huh? <laughs> um, yeah. Hold, hold. It's certainly a little spooky, right? Like, you got all these low blocks for a deck you know has a million high attacks. Yeah, a million high attacks that very much matter. Um, which might have been maybe part of Shiva's planning, looking at the deck list. Of like, if he does decide to pick Terry, I'm not running low attack. So, like, I only have to worry about the Cormorants, and uh, those are half blocks. And then if I get uh, in a situation where I have to deal with the Owl Shield, then um, I just stuff it in his card pool or in his, his momentum with my with my card. Yeah, I'll be right back though. <clears throat> yep, no problem. I think the right play is probably to bounce. Uh, that doesn't stop that. That does not stop that at all. Yeah, I, you definitely bounce Bakery. That doesn't count, though. <laughs> Whew, all right. We are in the, uh, the question of does uh, pay, protecting the protector stop uh, Forbidden Moonset, which is absolutely a no. No. No, we don't. Uh, yeah, that card says, uh, commits, destroys, flips, removes, or seals, not add to hand. Wah, wah, wah. That's a new... I just realized Alice 2 has such a good matchup into Terry because she can make him burn two on asset blocks. You... Uh, good, good matchup into Terry, except for your character is blank. Yeah. In every other facet of the game, your character does not have an effect. And Terry just bans that character if, it, if he's actually threatened. Yeah, if I was ever actually threatened by Alice too, I would just ban it. Oh. Right, Jose. Exactly. Um. Yeah. Commit. Stuff your card pool again. Let's make these uh. Let's make these blocks very very tough. <laughs> yeah, the very very slow attack. fun because it's still a like a zero high or a four high right because <laughs> sure. of the cards in card pool discard yeah. one to draw more 
Yeah, we already assume it's gonna Your be hand blocked, right? Sucks. I guess he could do it on the throw though. There's like no real harm in allowing these cards to stay here and making this pretty big. Yeah. Correct. How good is Alice when you can see your opponent's deck list? Probably fairly good. Is uh is Alice one like name a card? Because if it's, she's name a card, like you can make your opponent burn five every time they want to block with Alice Shield as Terry. Correct. And yeah. that's better than your opponent burning two, it turns out, because it's three additional life. Yeah. So their blocks are six apiece. Name a card, yeah, that'd be pretty good. Or if you don't want them to block with one of them, you just like because they, they you assume they have both, right? You just you just name sure. the one you don't want them to block with, and you're like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I guess uh, you only have one of that now. Yeah, so this is on a five. Neat. It has succeeded. Take six, though. Take six, breaker two. Hilariously, the phantom driver is still hella free. Yeah. <laughs> so it's six minus... It's a seven minus two. three. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. And we got to play Phantom Driver, right? There's no reason to not play it. Right. The question is, do we hold a three mid block versus this uh, Terry deck? Fuck we do it, have play one well. face downs. Well, he's going to... You, you you definitely could either stuff or keep another card in his card pool with with the uh, Phantom Driver, but I would just use it to draw another card. Like, So it's on a six minus three. It's on a three. Yeah. I would just, like, draw a card. You could do both. Yeah, Fucking you could why not, do both. You know? Kick one of them, draw a card. And stick the other one. Stick the other one. Who cares? I think it's totally reasonable. I think that is a totally reasonable play. The other option, if you're absolutely like demanding that we get damage in, this is a four damage attack that gets plus four damage off of Shiva. So we could m put him to 13. I don't know how much good that does, but it is certainly an option. Oh, you can give Driver four damage. Yeah. I don't think that matters, though, because he can go get Owl Shield. Yeah, that can... is not a good play. Yeah. He has Owl Shield in his discard pile. We've seen it. Is that sealed, or is that just means he's used the effect, right? He's the minus three speed. Yeah, I, I think that's such a bad play. I think you draw a card and don't be greedy. This is only doing one damage. This was always ever only going to do one damage. Correct. So box on what a seven? Yeah, you can't even fail it. I think it's on a five, right? This thing's at two speed. Oh, it's, it's only two three. speed. It's three, 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 four, five. For some six. reason, I thought it was four speed. So I guess it is only a six. Yeah. It makes him use the flip, which matters more. No, I disagree entirely. He's gonna go and get this card whenever he wants to. Who cares? Yeah. It matters. It absolutely doesn't matter at all. Drawing a card's better there. Drawing and then stuffing is way better. Or then keeping a card is carpool is way better. Yeah, because now he now he just doesn't have a hand, right? The flip matters for Diamond Crusher. Uh, very very lightly, yes. Yeah, which gets stopped by paid to protect. But yeah, I, I think it matters so very gently that like, uh, I can't see like the four mattering more. If you know that either way, he's going to do one damage. And honestly, yeah, I think I think that's not a great play. I don't disagree with you. I think uh, I think it was not necessary. But he believes that double search for salvations is just going to keep him alive, which, I mean, well, it will I, this turn. I don't think he was going to get any additional card out either, right? Because worst case, he gets one damage in, and maybe he can build another one. But Or, like, best case. And then worst case, he gets blocked by Cormoran again, and, like... You know, you get fucked either way, but yeah, it's it's not. I don't know. I think it's just more about like you're trying to make command the tempo of the game by just having more cards, and your character allows you to draw just so many cards. Right. Like you are a four hand size that can draw a million cards very easily with when you have balance fighters. Yes. Balance fighters plus like air ground smash, like like there's there's plenty of draw capabilities. Uh, we're now deep into deadlock. If we find, um, 
What's the name of that He's, card? He's uh, at 10 cards. I don't know what you mean, deep into deadlock. Oh, I was counting assets because his staging area is not separated. My apologies. Uh, Wow, that's a lot of gas, huh? Uh, This is where we get to see Terry's defense uh, shine. Is it uh, is it good enough? This is gas, but it is oof rough. Uh, it's just gonna get stopped by a lot of this stuff. Um. Yeah. I'll say yeah, cause because the draw three gets stopped by karma. Correct. And then if we pay to protect stuffs, diamond crusher, like unless we try to bait out the ability I mean we could use search for salvation, right? Uh if we use search for salvation and he falls for it, right? Uses both pay to protects, then it's it is possible that we get there. But we no longer get to do that option. Wow. He probably should just stuff one of his one of Terry's cards again and just keep it there. Yeah. He could draw a card first and like I don't think there's any shame in that, but like he's definitely should be stuffing a card this turn. Right. Hey, he still plays Graven, even though he can't play Big Cyclone. I love it. <laughs> Does he really? Yeah, he, he just, just, he just, just checked the Graven. That's awesome. I I can't see a, a, a play line where we don't keep stuffing one. Graven is a kill condition regardless. Jose Jose is is not wrong with that. I think that from science could be a kill condition by itself, but I Graven agree. definitely makes them all for 50. So you're, you're right. I didn't consider that. I hadn't considered how crucial the multiples are to the X. Yeah, it definitely speeds it up, right? I also think, Phil, you might have cut out. Oh, my mic! Uh, my mic did cut off randomly in the middle of that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't know why. Uh, I don't. I didn't consider the uh, the Graven being so good with multiples. Which obviously it is. I just hadn't considered that. He goes for the reversal. I think he blocked it. Uh, he blocked with the elk shield, took his one. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't reversal. see the elk shield. I was fucking. Uh -huh. Once again, I was fixing my mic at that point. Uh -huh. uh, and after an attack is played, seal it. And so we have a, we have a way to show another off answer. One of these three cards. Another answer, and we didn't stuff anything. And we are just keeping 15 cards in our hand, and they're all attacks that don't do anything. Yeah, it is a uh, it is tough to try to like realizing that this is the line that you quote unquote want to play, right? Like you are so determined to make like nine times out of ten, ninety nine times out of a hundred, that the four cards that you were just given, you kill your opponent. That's just what you do, and so it's hard to to see past that initial line. It's just weird for me to like not to not look at the situation and go, all right. I literally just got my whole turn ended by checking bad, having to commit a card and everything. Why? What am I going to do with these four, these three face downs in my opponent's card pool? Right. And if your answer, if you look at it and you go, my an the answer is nothing, you draw a card and you discard one of those phantom drivers to stuff something. Yeah. I, he can still do it on the phantom drivers, right? That's not, like, not something he couldn't do. It's just like, why not start doing it early? True. All right. Only 16 more attacks that he has to hit him with. Yep. Um, no, this is going to get Cormoran blocked. We assume, right? Well, after the seal, yeah. Cormoran Blanc seems pretty good, but still, drawing a card is better than not. 
Yeah, I think at this point we... Uh, we you could draw one off of this. Your next Phantom Driver is still on a five, and you could draw another card off of it. Yeah. And there's absolutely no reason not to make that play. Yeah. I would even go so far as to probably stuff the two, like, and just play with no cards in your hand. Hmm. Okay, we're just greedy as fuck. Decided not to block. Interesting. Um. Yeah, but I would absolutely. I have this exact same thought process, and it pisses me off every time I watch William Anderson play. What do you, What do you mean? Expound it's just like that. why Why are we not Why Why not do that? Um. What is your reasoning for not doing that? I think Huh. We get to play These cards are going to clear anyway. Yeah. He might have been trying to play these drives into the Diamond Crusher, but even that, that's so risky. He's just not allowed to play the... Yeah, that, that was his thought process. He's like, I'm going to play Diamond Crusher as my fourth card, have the card pool quote-unquote stuffed, uh, and and just be able to pop off like on that. a five. Oof. Rough stuff. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we fail it. Oh, absolutely. It's not worth Rob the, going the, for the one damage. I don't damage. think he can pass the Ether, right? Probably. I don't he, know if he, he plays sixes though. He had to check the six. Um, he would have to check a six to like go for it, but I don't know if he plays them. Oh, we're just gonna commit two for this for no reason, right? Or did I do bad math? Uh, four, oh, is on five, a seven minus three. Seven. So okay, you only had to commit yeah. one. Okay. Uh, from there, oh, now hold on. He if sure we, checked the six against you. Okay, yeah, maybe that is what he was going for then. If we don't, okay, I was like, if we don't discard, we gave it damage? Why damage? Huh. Yeah, I think, I think. This is going to do one. I, I don't understand the idea of damage as opposed to not. Oh, just kidding. He's too good. His opponent finally checked the three, so it, he wasn't punished. Oh, Take fuck. the eight. I'm gonna have an aneurysm. <laughs> I I would have I and I shit you not I still would have discarded that diamond crusher to stuff one. Yeah. Yo, I think I still would have discarded the diamond crusher. I don't think that diamond crusher does anything for us. Plus one progressive difficulty is probably better than that Diamond Crusher with our 29 life. Yeah. I uh I could easily see that line. But this is just this is just um Will's just trying to finish the game, you know? Like he, he like next turn he's determined that it's the last turn. Yeah, I mean I guess assuming his opponent has no way of dealing with it. Uh which I'm sure he does. We've got protected the protector and a momentum, so as long as we can keep that those cards up. We are hunky dory. Like, it's just not that like foolproof of a plan this late into a game. He can't give it like more speed, you know? Right. It's just damage. So yeah, like four cards in his card pool is a lot, right? Because you have uh, a new master, but like, is that that is it that good enough? Right. And now we don't even have new master if he doesn't want us to have it. Right. Uh, yeah, I think flipping a new master is the right call. Search for Salvations has honestly done pretty much nothing for us in the entire game. True. Though, I mean, he does keep uh, he does keep flipping over his cards, so maybe eventually Search for Salvation pays, but I doubt it. Yeah. I mean, I'm also down as as Terry for just the unblockable attack to get the get the damage, right? Like that is acceptable. Sure. Oh, 
Oh, and the craziest part about this uh, this play um, that that we that happened last turn is even if the goal was to get the shield out of his hand, not only could he draw another shield like he's done, he also gets to uh, take in possibly draw an asset that will just give him the shield for free, or draw a foundation that gives him the shield for free. Right. You can so, never. You're never really getting rid of the shield, right? Right. So your game plan should be to try and not necessarily set up a wombo, but you you need to see more cards while you're attacking, because you're only you have to assume that you're like you're poking, and that's fine. Poking is fine, mm -hmm. but like you want to be poking with a purpose, and if your your purpose should be to see more cards, correct? Because if you're throwing off zone attacks, he's gonna be blocking them with for the, for take one damage, or if you're playing throws, he's gonna block them for take one damage, mm -hmm. and those were basically all your options of cards you were attacking with anyway. So like why? Why wouldn't you, you know? Right. Yeah. Uh, got another flip card off of... Yeah, draw, uh, draw zero, flip a foundation is still pretty good. Especially in our deck that says game multiple X, right? Yeah. Like, next turn, if Shiva doesn't actually, like, amount to anything respectable, uh, we're going to have three That from momentum. science is for, like, 77. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, like, big multiple from science which is good enough you know yeah she even doesn't block particularly well she just has a battle ass which is and that is defense sometimes fat ass is defense guys true but fat ass is better defense if you play like your cards actually have effects could you imagine if these two attacks were on a, a six and then on a seven right even checking well, we'd have committed a bunch of cards, and this card was, would for sure not be hitting the table. Oh yeah, sure. If you were like not letting him play Titan Bomb on a on a eight, and you were playing it on a nine instead. Yeah, he might still go for it because like it's gonna ready his foundations. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Six. Uh, uh he doesn't actually have the damage pump to kill, right? Uh, he, so he's going to so ready his six. And then if he played the other guy, it's only for 10. Cause he only has one momentum, right? Correct. Okay. So, oh no, it's, I'm sorry. That'd be for 15. Yeah. This is just game. Um, and yeah, if the block happens, we get to get an extra three damage. Cause, we're Cause he's going to get the extra program. momentum, uh, from Cormorant being as asset, right? Right. So we have multiple two. So it should be exactly lethal if he doesn't block any of them <laughs> okay so he, he's gonna have to like half block the last one uh but i think if he's partially blocked he gets one damage right he so does it'd be, it'd still be the same amount of damage it doesn't right. matter on a nine cool all right we've cycled terry bogard easy he still has 50 cards left in his deck. Jesus Christ, this is a big deck. I just totally scrolled up and screwed up my whole thing. 50, 63. <laughs> um. My biggest issue with the Shiva line so far is taking all the momentum he has no use for any of it. That's about for it. And Terry doesn't play in the Marin. It will matter if he sees defense options. Uh, I mean, he might. Add, this is a William Anderson the third deck. I'm sure he has some weird kooky card that involves 20 momentum, and I'm gonna go look for it. <laughs> I mean, it could be as simple as like Celestial being right. Ooh, you don't get to block this first one. Don't block the first one. You block the last one. You block the he last actually one. The first one. Yeah, he's blocking the first one. So he loses. Yep, okay, well, that's 13 damage. Oh, I really like it when uh, he makes one huge play mistake per game that I've ever watched him play. Hit control zero? What? Control zero? Yo. What did control zero do, dude? It made this view my exact, the, the, the default camera view, so I can just press space. Wow. Huh. Well, neat. Well, congrats to Sam Tate for getting that first one. Let's uh, let's see if Will can channel our inner thoughts. He already used second stately. 
Yeah. He had already used second saintly on the uh, Titan driver. I do have to do it every time I'm in a room. That's okay. It means if I accidentally mess anything up. It also means that like I can scroll out, look at something, and then just pop back to it. Which is cool. Because before, I just couldn't do that. So thank you, Jacob. I appreciate it. Now I officially hope you demolish Jose because of the knowledge that you've given me. Yeah, for, for the... Uh, not only for that storyline, but because uh, you are now the official camera person. Yeah. Of the stream. Congratulations. Huh. You can do the same thing with numbers one through nine and change those cameras with shift plus the number. Interesting. I could tell like a whole narrative. Okay, um, so Terry kind of played that perfect, right? Did I win the last one? Sam won. Did I vote for Sam? I don't know. I'm not you. Me neither, dude. <laughs> All I can tell you is that the polls back up for who gets game two. Well, Shiva gets to go first. Presumably, he will learn from his mistakes. So, uh, if you bet all of your all of your channel points on Sam, uh, and nobody bet on Will, then yeah, you're only gonna win like a very little return. This is already looking like a very strong uh, opening from Shiva, but the fact that. Terry got to open Dark Side of Karma. Kind of washes what's going on. Not to mention this card, which I'm surprised we didn't play sooner. Wow, goes, totally goes for it. Yeah, we hit a uh, we hit a four build, including both swords and shields. So we'll never die. Uh, yeah, we're sitting pretty honestly. I mean, we could take and destroy at an asset to their staging area, right? So we could, the play that we do is we could forbid Moonset and then bounce, uh, Bakery to hand, uh, then play the Diamond Crusher. Yeah, the play is we forbid Moonset, bounce the bakery, uh, add, play the oh, Diamond that, Crusher. That is a hope you check fives line for well, sure. I mean, that's Shiva, right? In a nutshell, that's just sure. the character. Yeah, you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. That is a hope you check fives or sixes line, but it is a line. Fuck, if you're going to be that greedy, you might as well take the momentum too. Yeah, I was... like a fucking make this a fucking uh, thick ass attack. So the line here is either bounce the bakery and try and play diamond crusher just to like get a or thousand damage in right now. Play the uh, draw three. Yeah, like if you're bouncing bakery or if you don't bounce bakery, you're not playing diamond crusher, as far as I can tell. Like that seems really like correct. Not good. Oh, they both commit a face up. Ready? Yeah. Let's play ball committed. You fool. You fool. You absolute fool. You've been bamboozled. Uh, at this point, I actually pop that and shove it in this momentum. Like right now. Yeah, fuck it. Now you do it. There's no reason not to. If you're going to keep playing attacks, you might as well just put the, the owl, uh, the, the one that makes blocking easier in his momentum. Correct. I actually think this is a real choice, which is why this is going so slow. Either give him back the blo the auto block over and over again, or give him the let him have to force the DB block from his hand, right? I guess yeah. I think him not ha having non progressive blocks is way better though. I don't disagree with you, but the bakery says if he gets to gets to do it once, like he he's not gonna be able to keep doing the 
if this attack has three speed and he has three cards in his card pool and he has to block with elk shield he's not going to get to do that more than one time where he gets it back mm -hmm. currently yeah, yeah yeah so like if you're planning on hitting him for 50 this turn it seems pretty good oh okay i don't know what this one is are we giving it damage or we're drawing a card we're drawing cards this time guys we're grabbing another air ground smash Oh, shit. Uh, I'd probably make sure one of his cards sticks in. We don't need double air ground smash in our hand. I agree. Especially if we're not, if we're just trying to play this air ground smash on the seven. We yeah. make one stick, make it harder, a little bit harder from the build. And then, uh, keep it, keep it going from there. Takes a seven like a man. He goes oh, for it. Yikes. He goes for it on the seven? I mean, you might as well, right? Yeah. Your whole hand is on a seven, so whatever you do is on a seven. Never Easy. mind. It's Easy. Just too good. Yeah, man. It's just too good. Uh, yeah, and Terry also can't, still can't block this thing. So this is another... He oh, he could make it zero speed. But, I mean, just... Des for free. destroys a foundation to Pocket. do that i mean i would would you do you want to take seven more i guess that's his option here right yeah so now you know your opponent's blocking this i think you just kick another one draw a card yeah oh you can't you can't it, she was committed. oh he's committed i'm sorry he's committed yeah. i forgot he had to keep it himself. which is why i would have stuffed one on the last attack <laughs> the fool I have two tilted. We'll see you for the next round. Jose plays next. You'll have to be here for Jose. Goes a block on a two. Hey! Yeah. Oh, I did it. Woo! I was on a, yeah, I was on two. I forgot he had out. <laughs> we a did it. We're so happy for him. I think you're okay with most of these situations, though. Like, you got rid of an asset and pretty much all of his foundations, right? Correct. Yeah. Because he had to flip one even. So, like, really, he's not. it's not like he got to keep anything up. Mm -hmm. Uh, fuck it. Yeah, you just jam it out and commit the whatever. Five, e six. Yeah, this uh, feels way better. And now next turn, you actually, like, just kill him again. Like, you're in the exact same position you were. Except you have more foundations this time. Uh, correct. Which means we don't have to c tap our face. We love that. And <laughs> hilariously, we drew auto block shield again. Obviously. Funny, funny, funny. funny. But if we're being honest, not enough foundations to really use it, especially not with a... Um, champion of combat in our staging area what's that uh we have auto block uh shield but we don't have really have enough uh foundations to to utilize it because of champion oh sure combat yeah in our area. Uh, he's not gonna be able to keep going and doing and going you know uh diamond crusher actually kills him right now yeah yeah diamond crusher is actually um he could still block it why? Why wouldn't he be able to? Uh, we're going to have four cards in our card pool and give it plus X plus X. We'll have to spend the uh, Dark Side of Karma. Yeah, we're going to put Dark Side of Karma to return to printed speed, and we have non-prog box. So it'd be on a seven? Sure. Okay. None of his cards, like, he still just has to check a four. Fair. Or instead, we just play Airground Smash and <laughs> get that... Get that thing out of here. Check like shit. We love it. Checking like shit is the best part about air ground smash. Especially when they negate it. Yeah. Yeah, he says uh, that's just not happening. Sorry, buddy. You're a fort hander for a reason. Uh, reading? Enhance as a card of your hand, flip a foundation in your opponent's staging area, gain a vitality. 
Uh, so we just flip it. We flip the champion and say that that's not a card anymore. Sorry, dude. Hilarious. We have learned. We're learning. Discard Terry's cap to then give it a bunch of damage. Oh, shit, actually. Sorry. I, my mistake, guys. We haven't learned a goddamn thing. Three, four, five. I mean, if he checks a three, he takes ten. Sure. Yeah. So maybe he's just he's just assuming he's gonna check fives all day, and or unless Titan Bomb tap our last two or tap all three. Now his attacks have plus one progressive for the rest of the turn, or plus one difficulty. Excuse me. I mean, isn't his fucking Phantom Driver still the cheapest card ever? Yes. So he could just still Phantom Driver and give it. Two, he three. could Phantom Driver and discard the Titan Bomb. Yeah. On a four, five, six, seven. My seven. Five. Uh, it's it's minus. It's for every card in their card pool. Oh, so minus three. So it's yeah. on. A, it's on a four. It's it's actually, uh, no four, five, six. Seven minus three. Yeah. So it's still enough four. Weird to discard that one. Are we giving damage? Because that wouldn't make any sense. Yes, we love damage. I guess he gets rid of the shield, right? Yeah. If you're, again, going, this gets rid of the shield, and I don't want to see the shield for every single turn, this will, again, get rid of the shield. Yeah. Oh, God. I think drawing cards is just so much fucking better, but I'm not playing the game, I guess, right now. <laughs> Lol. I don't even know what this does. Uh, it's a two-mid block. block with it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so he's taking eight. He said, all right, I don't like that all my cards are tapped. I will actually block with this card from my hand. That doesn't do it. <laughs> Posture check. Fuck. We're up. We're good. That goes for everybody. It's not just me. Posture was so bad yeah. until just now. <laughs> oh, my God. I was slumped because I'm bored. <laughs> We're just got, we just got to wait for Terry to, to draw a kill, kill hand. Right? He's got two face downs, two assets, three assets now. He's going to be able to flip caught right-handed. Right? Is that how that works? Reading? Yeah. Add this card to your hand, colon, which means caught cannot stop it. My posture is 100% better now. <laughs> your posture was at zero? Oh, yeah, it was no. at zero. We need a stretch one? Sure, I'll make it. Uh, wh what's the uh, what's the price, Jacob? How much How much do you, how much are you willing to pay to make I me do stretches? 100, hydrates 250. Po like, stretch has got to be like 400. Yeah. It's a... All right, I'll drink some water too. Thank you. All right, I'll drink Close the rest of my beer. I'll drink. Yes. Oh, this refreshing liquid, this nectar of the gods. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Shout out to that one guy who tried to carnate in my blood, sweat, and beers response. Oh, that's. Oh, honey. That's not it. That ain't <laughs> it, Chief. Uh. Is this a turn that we just do this, right? I just YOLO, right? Fuck it. Ah, we'll oh, we'll check bad every time, too. Always punished. Never lucky. Uh, I think the answer here is actually... Because you get to pick with Diamond Crusher, right? Commit yeah. one of your bonus foundations. Yeah, we just tap the, uh, the minus two speed guy. As opposed to stuffing one in the carpool, because that doesn't matter. Well, this is already a lethal. That's probably correct. All right. Well, Matt. he chose that one, I guess, because he doesn't actually care. It, the All of these plays are super okay if he just puts the Owl Shield into his momentum at the beginning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, all these plays are super fine if he just uses owl, gets Owl Shield instead of Elk Shield. Yeah. Because, like, then at least he's still blocking this on, like, a 70 yeah 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten currently. I guess it'd be on an eight. Um, with the minus two, so we get to block it one time. Yeah. Man, Sam. I me up. think that getting rid of that shield was such a mistake. Can we solve this in a Legends of Runeterra game? I'm not uh, did they that both game. Runeterra? I can settle with Legends of Runeterra. I'm pretty all right. Yeah? Is that just, game fun? I just look at whatever the meta deck is and I play it against my friends. Yo, Jacob. Thank you, man. Ooh. Yo, we got two subs. Bro, he's a sub now. Thank oh, he left, though. All right. How do I unsub him? Because <laughs> he left. <laughs> unsub Bromley. I actually think it is kind of disheartening to see that the only time I've ever seen him stuff a card is when he has Balanced Fighter. So he needs a five. And he blocked it. <laughs> hey, man. Thank you for making a noise. We I appreciate it. I will shield the six. Least at the Reaper. Thank you much, man, for the prime. We have we have one more until we hit thirty. That's a, that's insane. Okay. Uh. Yeah. This is. <laughs> sorry chris <laughs> sorry man if i could yeah, if i could take it away i would i demand to be unsubbed <laughs> jacob thank you so much man you super didn't have to do that i, I, man, I super say? appreciate it that's that's super good that's super awesome man <laughs> give me one jacob that is 30 wow thank you thank you thank you you can't. I'm prime sub. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. You can't give me one. I already am. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, man. I, I really, really appreciate it. Um, uh, I mean, I guess there's no reason to not throw this attack, right? Yeah. I mean, maybe we're trying to get out resources. Fucking either way, it, it like is an attack that does things. The only reason ah, I wouldn't oh, barrier boys. Get, the only reason I wouldn't is is the high block, but I guess we have the shield, right? So we don't care about high blocks. Yeah, this also just gets blocked by like shield and draws us a card if we wanted to, so on a one, because blocking doesn't count progressive right now. Right. Um we also, as Shiva, we definitely discard the foundation, right? Or we discard the thing that just got him a momentum to draw a card. Are we allowed to do that? Yeah, it's our attack. Ah. Oh, we can also do the discard thing to stuff one on my opponent's turn. So when my hand's full and they so start doing draw stuff. A card, and if we have a bad card in our hand, we can kick it to stuff another face down? Uh, yeah, either the face down or the face up. and, and uh, Yeah, if you discard Necro Driver, you are actually asleep at the wheel, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, it says due to your opponent's effect. It's fine. Uh, this is an effect. Yeah. That's caught. You could also just, like, leave it there. Yeah, but, like, he could have discarded and it wouldn't go to his momentum, actually. That's fair. Hey, you stuff Necro Driver so it doesn't go to momentum. Yeah. You don't need the damage off the face down. What? You don't need uh you don't need the damage because of like it's just gonna get either blocked by shield or whatever. Um, sure. And so it doesn't matter that you don't stuff the face down. You can you can leave the face up. Ooh, silence is very cool. So 
So we currently have three. He blocked this. I missed it. I'm sorry. Did he boost block it with the shield? Yeah. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> so he he took one damage then. Yeah. Okay. I just um, missed it. It is easy to miss, for sure. Yeah. This... Like you probably didn't even have to remove it from the disc from like his staging area. You know, you just kind of yeah. like sit there. Yeah. Um, like I'm blocked with this. I'm not moving it though because it's coming back. We have found our win condition though, on. Um, in our hand, we have from science, and we now have three assets. We, they have sure. three face down cards, and on my opponent's next turn, um, if they decide to throw an attack, I'm going to be flipping. Wowzers, wowzers, I'm going to be flipping. Um, he's gonna be flipping wowzers. Either uh, search for salvations or wear light. Uh, Shiva's hand is currently. Double Diamond Crusher, double Hand Cannon. Huh. Or double, double Single Barrel, excuse me. Oh, is it Single Barrel? Yeah. Does Terry play off symbol cards? I don't think so. Uh, no. If but... he does, that's pretty poggers. Yeah. Okay, um, we discard one of these cards and draw a card to just stuff another card back in the card pool. We just drew one for free. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think we add another card to his card pool. I think we just make something stick. All right, or we just throw that out the window. Well, what more cards in his card pool doesn't do anything. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. We go from the draw off of single barrel, right? Because like we could have oh. we could have drawn off of Shiva, right? By discarding a card, and then yes. use that card to then discard off single barrel, and then yeah. net you plus one from the single barrel play. Sure, I'd be fine with that. Like where you 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 discard one, and you put another card back in. That's fine. Yeah. But it's like this doesn't do anything. This is the same fucking line. This is the same line. We're gonna draw a card now, and it's not guaranteed to be an attack. Whereas last time we already had an attack, and like it was fine, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't love it. I'm also not in love. Yeah, give it a search. Fucking draw a card, I guess. It has also been a long day, you know? Yeah, draw a card, and hopefully it's air ground smash. Um, it was not. Oh, well, that sucks. It was a out of control giant. Oh, that's uh, wow! It's crazy how that's not an attack. Oh my god! Are we getting this damage for no reason again? Oh. Well, I guess at this point you just make everything for a billion damage, right? Yeah. Maybe I'm just... I, maybe I'm just being a crotchety old man at that point. I mean, it is a five speed attack, right? Yeah, so he has to block on a six yeah, and commit on. one to bring it back in. So, like, maybe he doesn't block it well. And he can't block with the Judgment Day easy because that's on a seven. So, like, maybe, just maybe, it's not as bad. Yeah, this might actually be a dead Terry, honestly. If he checks, if the Terry checks poorly, I could definitely see that being the case. A six. <laughs> it's funny. We just, uh, we just didn't uh, give the plus one damage with the greatest combatant it's like it doesn't matter it's doing one damage <laughs> <Sure. laughs> alright alright if we don't commit the minus two speed one we're trolling he's just gonna untap it with sense but oh, yeah fair 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 alright let's see how well we can check nope <laughs> We can't check low at all. Double diamond crusher. All right, time to start discarding cards in our hand to make sure your cards stick in the opponent's card pool. Once again, it's on a seven. Yeah. Uh, and this is lethal, right? Because it's yeah. for each face down. This is 18 damage if gone unchecked. Yeah. Love that, since morals. We now have plus one. We now get to... Okay, this we actually officially messed up 
because we now get to move this shield forever because of being able to re-ready that card. Uh, yeah, we weren't yeah. allowed to do that. I as long know. as we can pass the check, I can then respond commit... Uh, What's his face? To then move it and then on the next attack, send some morals and ready it back up again. So now the block's on a five. Do we have a high block in our hand? No. So we're just going to go for taking one damage shield, probably. Yeah, we take the one damage off the shield and then we commit. Uh. Uh. So, if we take a three, I guess it's bad. Ugh. Threes do exist. They could be checked. Yeah. Hmm. We did it. We drew a card. Wow, the Phantom Driver at the end is very good. This is game two, right? Yeah, this is game two. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is he suspecting to not kill him? Uh, I mean, I guess out of control giant doesn't matter, right? True. He should have discarded the necro driver since it's not a face down, but I guess it doesn't matter. Right. He also might just not be thinking that's how the card works. I know in reading it, it might uh, it might look weird. Out of five. Hey, we did it. Six. Is it on five? Oh, yeah, it is, huh? Uh, now he's super dead. <laughs> on an eight. Checks a five, six, seven. Weird. Why do we care about where light? I have no idea. Uh, this is only getting plus eight damage. I mean, that's exactly lethal, I suppose. Yeah. Six, seven. We don't commit one, right? Why isn't he responding with Carbon Handed to, to Terry? Uh, good question, one. So Carbon Handed actually is a, an ability that says uh, on a non-character card. Yeah. It is good, but it, it's the same text as Venomous. Yeah, the card's good, but it's not that good. Man, I guess you just blank, you just bank out of your opponent checking really poorly, huh? Yeah. My opponent can't play an enhance. Who cares? He's used all of them. All right. Well. Wait, his character's committed. Wow. This character's committed. Oh. He checked the two anyway. So I guess we're going to game three. Game three. Let's shoot it. Wow. A play that is entirely reliant on my opponent checking bad. All right, everybody. Get up and stretch. Everybody stretch. Yeah, no shit. <gasps> uh, apparently hit space bar. Unless yeah, you did that already. It, it goes back to where it was. My knees. Yeah, my knees fucking hurt.
Oh, send me those sweet points. You're right. Good job. Yeah, I think I lost that one. All right. Um, we have a we have another prediction happening. We have Terry building out nice and strong. He could build out his whole hand. This Dude, fuck it. Well, I can't see a reason to not build out your whole hand, right? Unless your opponent is the best player in the entire world, which apparently he attacked turn one against Chris Bromley, right? Yeah. So it could happen. There is a world where. He reviews, finds Diamond Crusher, and uh, can hit, like, the big damage, right? He can hit him for a billion, right? Correct, correct. But he didn't do that, because that's also a play that is incredibly lucky. <laughs> I think he's capable of playing out his whole hand. He's never going to do it. He loves holding this balanced fighter to get a draw the next turn. But I don't know. We have opened up this uh, Murderous Intent or whatever this card's called. Yeah, Murderous Addiction. Uh, like, three games in a row. Gotta say, he has played it so strangely. Every time. He attacked you, turn one, all three games. Oof. I need more coins. I need to run an ad. Hey, man. Discards that one to make it stick and then draws another non block. <laughs> Yo. Right, takes the four, continues the build, and then finds the shield. Uh,. This is, I guess, have we checked uh, a different shield yet? Uh, I don't know. We have checked a Cormorant. Okay. Um, wow, double Diamond Crusher's pretty good. It's pretty okay into double low attack, yeah. Oh, did he discard a card to keep that card in on his opponent's turn? Wow. Yes. He discarded oh. the Balance Fighter to then draw the, the uh, deck Phantom Driver. Well, yeah. oh, well, Diamond Crusher is pretty good. That is strong. Who um, will win game three? That is a big boy. With no, like, direct answer, unless he has a high black asset in his discard pile. Yeah, he's got the Cormorant. Uh, Cormorant. So that's like a half block. What is the block on Graven? I now get high? to look at. Is it high? Pretty sure. Uh, is it too high? I I might actually pick up Graven, as crazy oh, as Graven it is. is. You pick up Graven and you just block this. Yeah. We did draw air ground smash, which actually feels really good. Why wouldn't he start by committing spirit? Um, sense of morals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ops to pick up the cormorant to try and keep blocking. <laughs> we can we can commit the uh the guardian spirit sword now, right? Uh, yeah, we could just stuff into the card pool, make him lose one. Yeah, that's totally fine. So this is on a four. Yeah. Easy block. Respond to breaker two. 
respond, commit a foundation, we get to build it in. Draw another Cormorant. Uh, and then take half, putting putting Terry to 20. That's right, the half block did 9 damage. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it certainly feels good. Uh, we build one, then just play the Phantom Driver, right? No, 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 no. You, you, you play your foundation I first. Well. I mean, the Phantom Driver is actually a zero difficulty card. You might, you're better off building first. Oh, he's trying to get get around the breaker. That's what it is. Oh, sorry, yeah. Four, Forgot. five, six, seven, minus th uh, four. So this on a three. Nice I breaker passed. two, nerd. Uh, and this card also does a bunch of damage. This is also just another four damage attack. Because this is going to be blocked sure, by yeah. the Cormorant. Sure. I can see that. All right. <sighs> okay. Checks poorly. But that's okay. Easy block. Respond. Commit our foundation. Draws a card. We could hit the reversal here on a six. And then... I don't know. I actually would have hit the reversal. As crazy as that is. As Terry would have popped in for another six damage. So that our multiple play is a little easier. It might have even gotten rid of the search for salvations. Sure. Could be pretty good, yeah. We have two momentum. We have to figure out how to do 36 without him blocking. That would be... That would be a lot of damage. <laughs> it would be. My personal opinion, honestly, is to play the From Science and just make him get rid of the Search for Salvations. The zero low blocks not helping you whatsoever in this matchup. Just play it, and if he does let it through, just snag your momentum, and now you just don't care. Sure. All right. Cool. Yeah, this card says either grab two momentum or destroy a foundation or remove a foundation. Excuse me. Why reversal with no momentum? To get that momentum. I don't think he was attacking continue to anymore. It lets William clear breaker. Hey, fair enough. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We found the shield. We have found a uh, elk shield, and have the guardian sword. Yeah, have guardian spirit sword in our hand. Yeah, not bad. Which is now going to make this game exceptionally difficult. This is on the five. It passes. This is on a four. It passes. Oh, this is the best turn that uh, William could have possibly found, ha drawing the air ground smash like this. He had an air ground smash in his hand. Did he? Yeah. Oh, I definitely thought I only saw the... Uh... But I don't really think that matters. You're like in a spot where you're just kind of shit out of luck and hope you have to hope. Right? Yeah. Well, if he did have the air ground smash, he's, he's like, actually out of the game, right? Sure, sure, sure. He's getting slowly, slowly, like, just put away, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And at least he's going to actually get to resolve this, where he draws three and also untaps something. Correct. Because uh, it's not something he's got to do uh, pretty much in any game, I don't think. Yeah. Sam has always had uh, Dark Side of Karma. NJ, I didn't think this tournament was going to take uh, six to seven hours. I assumed it was going to be an hour for every match that we played. 
at least. Yeah. Yeah, wait. Who, who thought this was going to be a six or seven hour? Uh, I actually have to use the restroom. I will be uh, right sure. back. I'm not sure who thought this was going to be a short thing, but uh, it wasn't anybody who was going to be broadcasting it or probably anybody playing in it. Because I, I was well aware how it was going to go where we were doing uh, towards the end, just broadcasting every match so people got more content to watch. It should if you're not worried about broadcasting every match that's going on. Well, uh, I have some news for you, NJ. If you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. Uh, yeah, you don't have to. And we also didn't watch every match. We didn't watch every match until there were six players left. And now we are watching every match. Like, if he doesn't want to watch it, he doesn't have to. I just don't understand why he's bitching in chat. <laughs> like. Right, what the fuck? If you want to go watch aggro games, go onto the Shameless Discord and play against somebody who's not good. I've known you for 15 years, yeah. Uh, well, that's not true, because I haven't. Been, this game hasn't been out for 15 years, but... You certainly are bitching. Did we win yet? Nah. All right. We're chewing out, uh, because he's complaining about how long things are taking. I told him he doesn't have to watch. All right. Uh, yeah, double diamond crusher, forbidden moon set. That looks like the start of a turn. Sure. I mean, the, the, he's holding good cards. Yeah. Nobody will ever question how good of the cards he is he's holding, right? And the problem is, like, how can he ever push these through without Sam having to tap his own cards? His other option to play yeah, was Iori. Um... Man. Iori would have been crazy. Uh, uh, I think every single let's... single card in Sam's deck blocks low. You are absolutely correct, Jose. Every single card in this man's deck blocks low. He did not. He did not go through a Tim Keefe deck building process this, where he literally found cards even if they're bad just to block off zone. I guess if you're only blocking with Cormorant and Owl Shield or an Elk Shield, though, like it doesn't actually matter. Less at the Reaper. Actually, this game, uh, it is from uh, like 2004, 2005, but it's uh, it is alive and strong even up until well, today. The uh, the only set that was out before 2006, I believe, was the Penny Arcade demo decks. Oh, okay. Uh, the game came out in 2006 officially. Oh, neat. But yeah, no. If uh, uh, Reaper, if if you are um, not into, if you don't normally play universes, you should definitely uh. Leave Demon of Kyoku and Ryu alone. Hey, listen, listen, Tim. I watched you build a Tim Keefe deck where you're like, I can't play all these good cards because they're high blocks. I have to put some bad cards in. You should, uh, you should play, uh, you should message, uh, uh, Arshim uh, Masur to, uh, to get info on how to, how to get into the game if you're, if you are interested. We've got, uh, uh, we've got properties like, um, the, Shiva is from Mortal Kombat, right? Um, We've got uh, like Cowboy Bebop and Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, My Hero Academia is coming here in the future. Hey, um, people still play Nutcracker. Good point. Yeah. Oh, you do play? Oh, okay. Okay. My bad. My yeah, bad. Yeah, say he's really been like we here the whole day. <laughs> I, hey, I, I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, he, Noth nothing he's been here <laughs> I, I posted a I posted the link out in some very public uh, Facebook groups, and so it's it's possible that uh that strangers uh, uh straggled in. All 
Oh, this is a... This is a lot. Where did our owl shield go? Uh, I don't fucking know, dude. I stopped paying attention. Oh, it just hasn't been picked up yet. Oh, it's right there. It's hanging out with the boys. Yeah. Deadlock doesn't matter about champion of combat if you have owl shield anyway. <laughs> True. Who cares? I guess one of his attacks towards the end is going to be 70 speed, 70 billion damage into double bakery poster girls. Who gives a shit? Yep. I still think this line is crazy of like discarding. Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm actually going to go look in his discard pile. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. If we find another cool block, we're not going to worry about it. Uh, this. This car pile. Get out of this car pile. Get out of this car pile. Get out of this car pile. Sorry. You're good. So now I actually am super, super into, uh, into Passing. the play. Cryptic noodle. Well, no, I'd still jam these. Cryptic oh, Noodle can stop oh, one of them. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely attempt to mill him with Champion of Combat at some point. Yeah. I was blue screening because he drew four attacks and a four-hander. For what it's worth, he had the four attacks from last turn. Still. True. He drew uh, four extra cards in his four-hander in order to to sculpt his four yeah, attack yeah, cards. Additional four cards to get to keep the four that he got to keep, which were all attacks. Correct. Uh, Jose, I watched you draw like four attacks every single turn in your five hand size character against Bromley. If you're really trying to let Bromley be tilted, that is a good way of saying it. <laughs> I guess he's just not worried about this one. Fuck it. We're just going to do it for... We're doing it live. Block it for free. We could respond with Balance Fighter, question mark? You draw a Finophobia like this man draws Diamond Crusher. Fair enough, dude. A Finophobia is a great card. You don't draw those. You only draw attacks, Jose. You're too good. Give it 4, 8, 12... Uh, yeah, 4, 8, 12, 16 damage. This is cool. We like this. Actually, crazy. He found. Re he found it. <laughs> Turn this. Please. He found it. He's too good. Phantom Driver is really good in her. I think Bromley just, does, just has a real hate against four hand sized characters. I think that's what it is. Bromley hates broken characters, I've decided. Except for Yoshimitsu. We're totally Correct. okay with it. We're totally fine with Yoshimitsu. Yeah. He goes and he picks up the. Yoshimitsu's okay. We like that guy. Yeah. Wait, you guys remember when uh when when the five hander uh drew. Well, sorry, you guys remember when the low hand size drew an extra four cards for free? Yeah, I love my Yoshimitsu deck too. It's red. <laughs> Yoshimitsu don't go <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> bullying him. Gil is fucked up. Oh shit, this uh might actually be crazy for That's not true, dude. Mr. Karate is super fair. Yeah, if Mr. Karate was not fair, he'd be in the tournament, for sure. Was Mr. Karate a three-hand size or a four-hand size? He's four. That's what I thought. I can double-check, though. I'm down to be wrong. Wait, who just said something about three-hand size? Three-handers are broken. It's true, though.
Three hand size characters are broken. Three hand size Hugo. Remember when the first two matches I played with Yoshi, both guys rage quit? I do. It was so funny. <laughs> So we just jam the next one, right? I love when things are uninteractive. Six, I think it's hilarious. Seven, eight. Just jam it, yo. Jam it. Jam Why it. Why does it matter? It. It. Doesn't it do no damage? Yeah. So? What's the point <laughs> of doing no damage so many times? <laughs> well, we have to do 15 more attacks. We've got to play him, and I'm a forehand size character. We just get him. Let's get him done. The good news is, this song that we're listening to is a banger. Banger. Yeah. Actually, think Shiva isn't obscene, but Diamond Crusher never needed to be printed. Uh, plus four is pretty crazy, you know. Sure, I don't think she mm. does anything inherently better though than like most characters. I agree. I think yeah, a pretty reasonably good character if Diamond Crusher didn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> this dude's double oh, the swords. Obviously not fair. You didn't get to play it all day. I just like to meme you. <laughs> For its worth, I think your uh, your adaptation of the mill thing is is very smart. Uh, I think, I think you take that mill deck and you combine it with with fatality, and you go and wreck it shop and. Mill even more. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. I was so nervous. <laughs> think about how much milling you could have if they both are in there, Bromley. Yeah, I think you actually get fatality banned if you do that. Wait, what the fuck is this shit? He still has 43 cards in this deck. Guys, they're not milling out Terry. This Terry deck is 70 hundred cards. It's probably 73 cards. Easily. <sighs> now I'm gonna count it. 43, 53, 56, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 59, 60, 60, 60, 60. And this is a 78 card deck. I'm pretty sure this deck is 77 cards or 78 cards. Do we need a a, a mill him emoji? <laughs> Two, three, four. Plan B. Thirty-eight. Can it be as well one? Just stick a box of plan B. I was thinking about like a little pill, but that's kind of fucked up if we're, <laughs> if we're being real about it. <laughs> um, I think this is an 80 card deck, guys. Yeah. I do love... Eventually, Terry's just got to find a kill condition, right? Like, one of these days, he's actually just got to find it. Uh, I actually think that the, that Shiva, probably to, to count, counteract you, would be not necessarily the... Like, I don't think she'd be as insane without a card that just got 18 damage for free. Yeah, totally. I mean, honestly... I, I her abilities work are are honestly pretty neat i don't think goro is fair right for sure like i think goro is completely unfair can i uh can i make uh chris mad at me phil can we pretend he's not here i uh i don't even think she was that good with diamond crusher 
Like you just, like, it's a good high roll, right? But yeah, it, it's just, it's just a twenty damage attack, which like that happens in like almost everybody, uh, right? It is a very good high roll, but like if you could stabilize, it's it's actually less good. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Uh, uh Terry has thirty five cards left in deck. <laughs> So, can I ask a question? In what world does Shiva break this wall? Ah! He doesn't. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why... I, I would have just picked Iori in this matchup, honestly. I would have just put Akuma in one of my decks. Akuma not represented once here. Um, <laughs> Damn it, I talk about playing four Flamor in every deck because of Shiva, but I also think Shiva's fine. Classic American humor. <laughs> hey man, uh I don't want to say that. I'll Chris Bromley, you're right, buddy. You're right. Uh, I don't I don't want to tell you. I don't want to say on stream that I thought you should have played something like Scorpion or something that could play Flamor because of Shiva. Um, because I don't want my friend Chris Bromley to be mad at me. But, uh... Iori is... Let's see. Iori doesn't kill Terry. No? Uh, uh, yeah, probably not. I don't know. Hmm. I don't fucking know. Say <laughs> damn. I mean, I kind of did. Uh, I thought Cassandra was fine, but she's a seven hand size character. Like, and she just gets her whole life. Bro, this is so fucking long. Like, if if the if the thought was like to beat Shiva, I wouldn't put a seven hand size character against this character, like ever, like ever. Like, this is crazy. You could have played Evil Akuma with Flame Auras and you'd never lose to Shiva. Ever. Literally ever. Because not only do, like, do your attacks, your uh, Akuma attacks not count the face downs, but now your Flame Auras, like, auto-block your... Like, it, it's impossible to lose against that. Can we ban Terry already? Yes, please. Terry for sure should have been gone. Yeah, already, but uh, Tim Freely, I don't know, got cold feet or something. Uh, that's, that, that's okay. I mean, Tim, Tim's allowed to make the decisions that he makes. I mean, you're right. You have to draw every out. I, I'm I'm not a I'm I'm not um Yeah, I mean and, and that's an that's unfortunate that you only got to play one turn, Chris. I don't uh I don't think Let's not get it twisted. I don't think that this is okay. Right? I, I don't think that this is like good for the game, but I'm not so distraught over it. At the same time, I I haven't played uh in I haven't played like in like a competitive game of universes in literally all of quarantine. Right? I've not played in a single tournament. And so your your idea of how the meta works and my idea of how the meta works is totally different because I'm not sitting across the table from things. I only get to see it I only get to look at games from this perspective now, where I get all the information. And so I'm positive that my idea has been skewed. Okay, so I have what I'm going to refer to as potentially a controversial opinion here. Okay, all right. I don't it. think that you can have the same opinion of a six difficulty attack as you did of a four difficulty attack. What? Like, I think it is totally okay that sometimes you get high rolled by a six difficulty attack. Sure. 
I am totally fine. Like, I th I am, like, Downward Spiral needed to be banned. Absolutely not fucking good for the game. Diamond Crusher and Shiva is very good. Mm -hmm. But, like, I think getting high rolled by a six difficulty attack is different than getting high rolled by a four difficulty attack. Sure. And obviously, we've stopped watching the game entirely because it does not matter. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> either either Terry is going to beat Shiva, or Terry's going to mill out, or Shiva's going to yeah. mill out. There's no way that Shiva wins. Shiva does not win this game with, through attacking. This is not a thing that it does. Yeah. Like, I'm okay with a character like Shiva existing. I'm not okay with a character like Goro existing. Yeah, Goro just gets Goro, to pick too much stuff up. I don't get to sculpt their exact same hand every single turn, right? Like, I think that's pretty fucking broken. But, like, uh, I think Shiva, if they draw their fucking good cards and winning, sucks. But it happens. I think it, uh... I think it'd be really neat, like, a, a fun fix to Goro. Maybe even be, like, kind of like, uh, Inferno. If can one-shot. All right, well... I... <laughs> I don't think that we're playing the same game. <laughs> As opposed to Goro shuffling his hand back in his deck, what if he just, like, got rid of his hand? Like, RFG'd it. Like, you just look I at your four cards, and you're like, well, see ya. All right, I don't get to play with those anymore. Just, too good. just Andy dropping the, the, the toy. I don't want to play with you anymore. I think I actually haven't looked at the board in four turns. Shiva is now in deadlock. Like, compare how much interaction shot her voice to get to 22. Yeah, but that same interaction is required to get to 22 in characters that aren't Shiva. So the problem is Shiva with the car, which is saying like a forehand sized character sometimes high rolls you. I understand that you had incredibly unlucky games against him, Chris, and I'm not gonna dis I'm not disagreeing with that. I think that is very unfun and I'd be pissed as well. I'm just saying it's it's different like a forehander getting to use this card than like I think that card is like way less good, obviously, in uh Sophidia whose support it is. But it didn't need to be printed how it was, because obviously it was just going to benefit Shiva entirely. But that's what, hopefully, uh, the lovely folks over in Playtest are going to prevent uh, for the next sets, you know? Thank you, Tim Keith, I mean, you put, you for your work in the mines. <laughs> he only has a 1 in 12 chance at a 60-card deck to draw that card. And then you multiply that by 4, right? So he could draw it, like, he has 4, like, he has a 1 in 12 chance, and then he has, like, slightly higher percentage chances to draw it every single time after that. But, like, it's not always going to happen. It's been relevant in all six games you've I've seen today. The turn two Diamond Crusher? Because Terry seems to be pretty alive. Yo, if Terry wins this, by the way, uh, I... <laughs> if Terry wins this, uh, I coach Sam to victory. I'm just letting everybody also, know. Chris, we've talked about this card a million times. We already understand there was a playtest problem. <laughs> True. <laughs> We've probably talked about this on our podcast. You have. I listen to exclamation point unfun stuff in the chat. It's fine. <laughs> we have we like a from... Boys, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a from science. This from science hand. is going to murder him, right? Uh, no. We currently have a way to flash it, but... We do get to recycle. We do get to recycle um whatever this card is. Spinning Necro Driver or spinning spinning paw driver, excuse me, with the judgment day. Can you imagine if Shiva was sitting on prepare to fight for like twelve turns? <laughs> Just waiting. Just waiting. So funny. Listen, probably this is nothing on you. You are just a much more entertaining conversation to have than watching this game that is going absolutely nowhere. 
So I'd rather talk to you about this card than watch this game that we have had the predetermined outcome for for about 20 minutes. It just hasn't happened. Yeah. Skullberry does say fuck you to your attack. Ah, oh, crazy. He has to wait one more turn. That's okay. I can wait. Judgment Day only recycles if your hand size is lower. <laughs> Feels bad. If you play this card as a form, you're pretty hand size less than your opponent. Add a card from momentum to hand. Lol. Lol. XD. Get fucked by Shiva. <laughs> All right. Now we have to find Surveyor is what is the answer. That's so funny. How close is he to cycling? Guys, he's not. He has 10 cards in deck and 26 left in his discard pile. He's never going to cycle. We've got 35 and 6 for Shiva. He's never going to cycle. Uh, Jesus Christ. No one is cycling. Sam Tate is going to beat this man to death, whether he likes it or not. My issue is, is I, I bet Sam is enjoying every minute of this. <laughs> yeah, just because your opponent doesn't get to do anything and you just get to sit and wait, that's awesome. You looked at your opponent's lists. You know they don't have prepared to fight anywhere. Do we know I'm a from silence or remove double saintly beast? Yeah, I'm going to go look at remove from game piles. We've only cycled once, question mark. Yeah, uh, none removed. We have the Graven Castle has been removed, but I don't know how many we play. Chris, you're absolutely allowed to have opinions. Don't say you can't have opinions. I'm telling you, it's more fun to talk to you than watch this game. Chris, uh, don't let anybody, including me, tell you you can't talk in my chat. Your opinions aren't incredibly... Your opinions aren't that... Like, you're not that far off base from what I'm saying anyway. You should. Oh, he, you high he high rolled the yeah. shit out of you. He built four <laughs> characters on turn two. He should, I'd be pissed. <laughs> I'd be livid. I know. Think we lost two you attacks in the Shiva. You would be complaining about about how the win happened if it wasn't Jose. Because he had four of them on turn two. Oh, yeah, chat. We don't listen to them, dude. We don't listen to them most of the time. Especially Bo. Also, Wen's nuts. Wen is very good. No way, man. When doesn't get to draw extra cards? Jose was sacking. That's it. Uh, yeah, NJ. How about yep. now? Okay, we have 25 cards left in deck, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, NJ. Bo and you and Bo are like the same person. <laughs> Your play styles line up pretty well. Uh, How many in the remove from game pile? 21. 21. Which means he has roughly 50 cards on his board. Uh, That was the point, NJ. You're right. You got it. You picked up what I was saying. Because uh, Bo plays an aggro deck. Yo, I, yo. I an aggro deck. Can we make a new game rule called Super Deadlock, where if you have 20 or more cards in your st or more than 20 cards in your staging area, something crazy happens? Because that well, would I can play when? Come on, man! I love stacking and I love hacking checks. Those are my two favorite things. It's fucked up that you wouldn't believe me, dude. We have now flipped the final answer from the from science in our hand. It's called super deadlock. It's called legacy. One, two, three. Just you when you need them, exactly.
One, two, three. We'll be able to get three momentum. We've got, we have a multiple six possibly on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. You don't have the sack power fill? Dude, I'm going to build a Wen deck and I'm going to stick it so far up your ass, Bromley. I'm going <laughs> to shove my big R Wen right up your ass. Yo, I have a, I have a bottle. I think it's of, of a, like, so can't quit UFS for a week. <laughs> <laughs> True. I have I have a I have a bottle of like a like soap or like lotion or something that just says win on it. And I think of Jose every time that I look at it. <laughs> we have arrived we have evolved fast retro and arrived at Chief Legacy. No, guys, you're you're misunderstanding. We have a retro deck playing against a legacy deck. Because poor William Anderson's cards don't even have fucking effects. I, uh, I don't get how this... You can play when, but I get to play Yoshi. You're allowed to play Yoshi against me all the time, Bromley. I don't care. I just don't play you. I think he would, Shiva can survive a, a science. I mean, you're right. I think she can too. But I mean, it's certainly. Oh, this has got to be way more than turn 15. Oh, yeah, for sure. Man, this Shiva should have played one copy of Prepare to Fight. Like, think about the possibilities there, dude. It would have been hype. She certainly can't survive a multiple 10. Nope. <laughs> Especially if he has Graven in his discard pile. Can you imagine that one? <gasps> Boys, we have action. Hold on, we gotta put on some epic music. Anime music? <laughs> yeah, put on some anime music. Here it is. Chad, I want you to blow up. I do would stall another turn. Well, C, it would stall another turn equal to the number of copies of Prepare to Fight you have. Yeah. All right, this first one's for zero. Let's grab one, two, three momentum. We've got multiple six on board. All right. I'm going to go use the bathroom while this finishes up so I can watch a more interesting game. All right. See you, dude. <gasps> we found Graven. This is it, boys. It's time to pop off. Multiple six, and they all get plus a million plus a million. Yeah, I am surprised he made it out. Yeah, we uh we we popped this guy.
Yes, Colby, you definitely missed us talking about how cool and pog Diamond Crusher is. For sure, for sure. All right. He, li he literally has a minute left to multiple six this. Please build in the Graven. I'm begging you. Why is William playing this out? I actually have no idea. We found it. And there it is. Congratulations, Sam Tate, for winning the longest game we've seen today. Just in time.